Welcome back everybody, my name is Brendan Dickinson and today we're going to be installing Unity. I'm going to show you two different ways on how to install Unity. The first being with Unity Hub, which is my recommendation. And if you would prefer not to use Unity Hub, you can skip to this part of the video and I'll show you how to download just the Unity Editor by itself. So without further ado, let's get into it. All right, so let's go to the main download page. We can Google Unity Download and click on the first link. And it's gonna be this download the Unity Hub and install the editor. On this page, you can see that there's a few links here. There's a download for Windows Beta and like download the Unity Hub here. It actually gives you a step-by-step -step process. If you're on Unity's website, unity.com and you scroll all the way to the bottom there is this download section you can actually just click right on get unity and it will take you to the exact same page that that download link took you to and you might be wondering what is the unity hub i just want unity well unity hub is a standalone application that handles references to the many different projects you might have in unity as well as the different unity versions that you have installed all together in one place I'll explain a little bit more about the hub in a future video, but for now we just need to download it. Now don't let the fact that these say beta on them scare you. These installations are going to be just fine for what we want to do. Now I'm on Windows, but if you're on Mac or Linux, you can click one of these download links. I'm just going to click on this download hub v3 for Windows. You can also click on this download for Windows beta button at the very top. This is going to give us our Unity Hub setup beta exe and we can just click this. This is gonna bring up the Unity Terms of Service. You can just click Agree. I'm gonna keep this in the default location, which is Program Files Unity Hub. If you want your Unity Hub location to be something else, you can change that. And then we'll go ahead and install. Once installation is finished, you can leave this checked to run the Unity Hub and we will click Finish. You might be uh, seeing this Windows Defender Firewall exception. I would just click Allow and don't worry too much about that. Now when the hub opens, it's going to show you this, which uh, if you don't have any versions of Unity installed or if you've never installed the hub before, it's going to want you to install a version of the Unity Editor. This is wanting to install 2020.3.25F1, which is their long-term service, their LTS version, which is great for us. So we're going to just install this Unity Editor. You can also locate existing installations if you already have a version of the Unity Editor, or you can skip the installation altogether. So this opens up the downloads section of the Unity Hub and it will show you the progress of the different editors and downloading. This is a three part download. We've got the WebGL build support, which is installed by default and the documentation as well as the editor itself. So once this is done installing, you can actually create a new project with it by going to this project section and new project. At the top here, you can see that the editor version it's gonna use for this project is the one that we just downloaded. And as far as templates are concerned, we're just gonna use the 3D core for now. On the right side, you can see project settings and it'll ask you to name the project and choose the location for your projects. I'm just gonna leave this in my Unity Projects folder and I'm gonna call this first project. And then you can go ahead and just click create project. It's then gonna start opening the project in Unity and it's probably gonna take a little while. It takes a little while to start everything up, initialize everything and cache everything for your project. And there you have it. Once the project is created, it will automatically open Unity and you're ready to go. I've also added a link in the description below on how to install Unity Hub from Unity themselves. It can be a bit more complex on Linux, so check that out if you need it. So we've seen how to install Unity with the Unity Hub. Now I'm going to show you how to download the editor without the Unity Hub. I really don't recommend installing Unity this way. It's not how they intended you to use it, but I know some people really don't want to use the Unity Hub or maybe they're having issues with it and they just want to get it into the editor and don't want to deal with all of that. Also, you can always connect the editor that you've downloaded to Unity Hub later. So this time, instead of searching Unity Download, we're actually going to search Unity Download Archive. And this will take us to Unity's download archive. Also, if you're on Unity's website, you can scroll to the very bottom again. And there is this download section. Instead of Get Unity, we are going to click on Download Archive. This will take you to the same link 
that we had before. This download archive hosts every version of Unity since Unity 3.x, and so if you want any different versions of Unity, this is a great place to go. You can also click on this Unity Hub link, and it will open up Unity Hub and download this version of the editor inside of the hub, which is really nice. Now we are actually going to download the same version that Unity Hub suggested, which is their latest LTS release. So this box here has a link in it called Download LTS Releases. We'll click on that. And to make things simple, we're just going to click on the very top box here. And it wants you to download the Unity Hub again, but uh, we are actually just going to download the editor by itself. Now if you're on Windows, you'll want to click on this Unity Editor 64-bit. If you're on Mac, you'll want this one. And if you're on Linux, you'll want this one. Since I'm on Windows, I'm going to click on this, and it's going to download this Unity setup. It's going to be much bigger than the Unity Hub file because we're downloading the installer for the editor. We can just click on it to open it. It's going to ask us if we want to run. We can then go through this setup of the editor, agree to the license, and downloading the editor this way will only install the Unity editor. Choose the path that you want to download the editor to. By default, it's going to do this Unity Hub editor, which I think is perfectly fine. If you'd prefer it to be somewhere else, you can change that. Once that's done installing, we can just click finish. And if we go to the desktop, we should have an icon showing the Unity version that we just downloaded. You can double click this to open it. And it's going to present you with this message most likely where it says we recommend installing the Unity Hub for the best Unity experience. But since we're not using the Unity Hub for this version, we're just going to create an empty project. I'm just going to create a new folder and I'm going to call this new project. And we're going to use that for the project. Once again, this is going to create everything that it needs for the project and that could take a little bit of time. And there you have it, a new project in Unity with the, just the Unity version, no Unity Hub. I do want to mention that installing Unity this way and then opening up new project means that you're going to be stuck with a 3D core template. You don't have the render pipeline assets for URP or HCRP and I'm not sure there's a way to do that unless you use the Unity Hub. And there you have it, two different ways to install Unity. I hope I helped you guys out. Thank you for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like. If you want to see more content like this in the future, go ahead and subscribe. If you have any questions, leave them below and I'll do my best to answer them. Have fun creating and I'll see you next time.